everybody this is diva t4040 excuse the noise in the background and any music or whatever i do not own rights to that is my television playing okay so how are you all doing today i i wonder oh, if i'd have thought about it because my face is kind of cute and i got my hair on but right quick i'm just showing i spent sunday mommy me time with my daughter and I actually cooked dinner today, y'all. I made um, turkey legs, turkey, turkey wings, I'm sorry, and, and the uh, drumstick part. So I had the butcher in Houston, Texas at this meat market, y'all. Listen, I'm got to find a way back up there. I can't tell you where, where it is, and right now I don't have the name, but I made turkey legs and turkey uh, wings in the crock pot i had marinated them and i didn't put but a fourth of a cup of water in the bottom of the crock pot i put it on high until i went to bed then i put it on uh low and about four o'clock this morning i got up to go to the restroom i could smell them i didn't put anything in there but onions and garlic but i had all the seasonings um i used thyme curry cumin um, it's just this mix that I use because I have to get fresh herbs because uh, everything packaged has salt in it. So, and the only, I think, not even a pinch of, well, maybe a pinch of salt I used was the Himalayan sea salt. So, um, that was it. So, I made smothered um, turkey legs, turkey wings. I had the, what my uh, ex-husband calls the 30-weight gravy. I made some butter rice, and then I mixed it with some uh, chicken-flavored rice. Um, I think it's by Knox. And I put turkey pieces that had fell off the bone into the rice. So we had rice two ways. We had gravy, um, the turkey wings, the turkey drums. And I made uh, green beans and onions. So I fried, stir fried the green beans. Then I sauteed them with some onions and some garlic and all of that. I was going to make cornbread. But um, it would have been a waste because it was just myself. And then my daughter did come by. But she didn't eat much because she had ate at a uh, baptism dinner. So we spent the day together. We really didn't do anything. We kind of drove around and, and looked at some places we kind of wanted to go into. But Mother Nature uh, came to visit my daughter and she started pounding and carrying on so i needed to go to catherine's today because i had two 25 dollars catherine bucks that expired today and uh they messed around and gave me a catherine's card so i have been trying to um update my closet i've had to get rid of a lot a lot of clothes to where i'm going to have a sale i think i might do an instagram business a pay uh sale page until i can get rid of the things um i can ship and i probably will i have shoes dresses tops bottoms and some makeup makeup i have some brand new makeup bags from when i worked at uh, walgreens and i'm now retired so i have to get this stuff out of my house because i downsized when the last child moved out and I'm now in a one-bedroom townhouse instead of an apartment. So, until I move and get me a two-bedroom, this is where I am. And I'm about to renew my lease. Because I live in Texas and rent is but much high. So, anyway, so I needed to go to Catherine's, use my Catherine's bucks. It was $25 off of $50 or um, um, $70. Uh, if you spend $175 you get half of that you get uh i'm sorry if you spend a hundred dollars you get something i don't know but what i ended up doing was getting a catherine's perk card the card costs 25 dollars for a year and the 25 dollars that they charged me for the card gave me 15 percent off plus i had 50 percent off with the two 25 dollar cards so i ended up spending 175 dollars my daughter snuck a dress in there and and it included on the sale thing so everybody everything i got was on sale um and i think the highest thing i got was a swimsuit i actually bought my first swimsuit i haven't bought a swimsuit in over 20 years because i don't know how to swim but you know we always want to look cute sitting beside the pool and i am going on a trip for my birthday god willing in december somewhere i don't know where yet so but i wanted this swimsuit and i did try it on over my clothes whatever i just wanted to make sure it wasn't riding and digging and hunching and carrying on and this one has the little coverlet so i'll show you in a minute but that was the highest price thing because it was 70 something dollars we talking about catherine's y'all the big women's store which is the boutique high-end store yes 
so they had this swimsuit on sale and with the um 30 they had it for 30 percent off so 30 percent off of uh the 70 something made it 48 i want to say 40 something so then i got another 15 percent off of that plus i was able to use 25 percent off of 50 so because the dress hit right up under 50 i turned around about a purse card which put my total back over 100 then they took $50 off of that, and then I paid for the perks card, so it brought it up to 86 and some change. Then I had 15% off um, for using my Catherine's Charge card, plus I had another 5% off for um, using a gift card that I had. The gift cards at Catherine's are not reloadable, so to use everything on the gift card, they gave me 5% off of that. I got 15% off of you for using my charge card. Then I got $50 off of uh, my total because I spent over $100. So I ended up paying for a purse card, but that $25 got ate up by the 15 and then they gave me the 5% off for using the gift card. So almost $200 I spent spent $48 and some change for these items that I'm going to show you. And then we went by Kohl's and my daughter went into the avenue because the avenues are closing with well, some of them and they're going to be online only and she's trying to find a sports bra. So the location we went to uh, didn't have what she needed or the size so she wasn't in there long and I decided I want to walk around Kohl's. I don't go in Kohl's often. This is my first time in Kohl's this year and probably last year. Um, I live very close to um two Kohl's locations one I can't stand because for the life of me they will not fix the women's section and I just I'm, I don't have the energy to do all that hunting and then there's another Kohl's that I really forget about all the time so I um I um I'm trying to see which way is better so I we went into that Kohl's and we ended up walking around because I literally had never been into this second Kohl's so I got a Kohl's bag and I got a Catherine. So in Catherine's, um, I have a video that's up previously and I had bought a couple of bras because they had some clearance bras and clearance panties. The panties were, four, they still are $4.99 until they sell them all or add something else to the clearance. They had the panties, the boy short panties and the bikini panties for $4.99 a piece. And they had the, some bras for $16.99 or $14.99. And the bra size that I thought I could fit, I got home and it was going to kill me. So I took it back and I got a couple of things in a previous video. A couple of dresses, some uh, workout pants. So anyway, my daughter wasn't feeling like critiquing me too much. But she wanted me to get a swimsuit. Because she bought her one and her swimsuit was $50 and she got it for $14.96. So that's the only thing I didn't get a swimsuit when she got one because I was trying to get this dress for my birthday. So I got this really lightweight shrug. I should have hung these things up, but I'll um, make another video with just showing the items. So let's go long ways here. So this is a very lightweight one size um, jacket. And the brand is uh, it's Catherine's brand, but it's one size, so it was twelve. It was a uh, nineteen ninety eight, and it was thirty percent off of that. So I got this jacket, uh, this lightweight shrug. I wear dresses mostly, but I wear a lot of stuff with no sleeves. So these lightweight shrugs and, and uh, <clears throat> jackets come in handy, and they dress up any outfit. This is what I went for. I had tried this dress on before, but they were too big. And at Catherine's, you can get a smaller size, go one size down. So this is a 1X. And anybody else's size, I, I would almost need a 3 because of this uh, belly and this butt. But I got this in a 1X, and I am going to stand it up. It's cut like a handkerchief at the bottom. It's crisscross. Let's see if I can lay it. So it's crisscross here. And the crisscross is up higher than normal. So my cha-chas won't be overflowing unless I do something to this. Because it is quite high. But with the right bra on, you still can um, put them up. It doesn't have a belt to it. So it has a um, gathered waist. And because I'm 5'6", the front hangs lower than the back. Um, and as I was talking about the panties, these are the panties. So 
I don't have matching bras, but you know, we do what we do. I'd rather be clean than matching. So I have these. These are navy blue, white, and red with the red stars. It has the lace around the thighs and all the way around the back. And these are called boy shorts. So I got a blue, red, white, and blue pair. I got a, a red and white pair with uh, white polka dots. And these are also boy shorts. So these are just red and the material. And they have the band, which I like because they stay up over your belly button. I can't stand stuff up under my fupa. So then I got, these are peach. It may look orange, but these are peach, coral peach size. And these are boy shorts. There we go. And these also have the lace around the leg and the thigh, like the red, white, and blue. So I got three of those. They were $4.99 a piece. And the last thing I got was this swimsuit. And I, it looks good. <laughs> and see, it, the, the tabs are still on it, so nobody's had it in their hoo-ha. So that's one thing you do check when you try on swimsuits in any uh, type of lingerie or um, undergarments in any store. So this has the built-in bra. It has the sturdier straps and almost like bra-like straps in the back. So it's fuller here. And this was a, uh, this I had to get in a bigger size. I tried an 18 on, like to kill me. So this is a 26, but swimsuits do run small. And at the bottom is the, um, the drape and this drape is attached so it doesn't come off so when I put it on I didn't even untie it it could go a little tighter so it'll sit up higher but that's all I got from Catherine and I hope she gave me the oh yeah the receipts in my bag so then we stopped at Kohl's and I just got a few things but my daughter was over there in the purse section Kohl's is having a massive sale and the Kohl's we went to had a AC leak and when they came to work I guess yesterday morning or this morning the floor was almost flooded in the jewelry section and the makeup section is right on the other side so my daughter got the black one I got this one and I will take pictures this is the Juicy Couture side bag I think my daughter says it's called or it's called a something but look this bag regularly costs them so I got it upside down $69 so the price that it was up under there, I can't see, but I I think it was a. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I got it upside down. Six ninety. That's what we paid for. My daughter got one, and I got one, and we did have the lady scan it before we got up to the counter. Seventy dollar bag I got for seven dollars, and we did search because my daughter got two. Actually, I'll be buying borrowing one. Her my daughter's is black, with these words on it, and then she got a multicolored one that had a navy blue or a black background that said Juicy Couture in very small letters all over it. And if you know Juicy Couture bags, they have these uh, straps. It's like a um, side bag. They have these straps. They're not leather, but they're not really strong canvas. So, this is the Juicy Couture label. A little mirror that hangs on the side. And it's got an outside pocket and inside pocket. Um, the zipper works fine. That is something you always need to check on your bags. And the Juicy Couture label inside. So this is not a dupe nor a fake. $7. $6.90. My daughter got the black one. I have the white one. I do white better than she does. But she says she's over um, packing the big bags and purses. I'm going back this way, you all. Because I have to change hands. There we go. So she's not in the mood to carry a really big bag now. So we went to the clearance section at Kohl's and my daughter's been fussing at me because I do need clothes. I do need casual stuff. I buy a lot of formal wear and church wear. So I got these um, Capri tight pants with the stretch waist. This is a brand in Kohl's and I'm, like I said, I don't go to Kohl's like that. So these were $12. I got them for six because apparently that wasn't the price the lady said they were supposed to be one pair rang up six and this pair rang up 12 so she gave me both for six so they are a little big on me but i got a 24 because i don't know this um brand but if it doesn't shrink if they do shrink i still have a little wiggle room so it came with an extra button and these are black and i got a navy blue pair uh oh sorry and they do have a little button at the bottom where they can always be folded 
I'm like I said, I'm five foot six, so these come right at my calves. And with that button design, I can um pull them, fold them up a little more. I'm gonna have them pressed and everything. So I signed up for a Coles card and got an extra 25% off. So I paid right at 30 under $30 for two pair of pants, the purse, and oh yeah. Okay, and then I asked about I got this. I've been wanting this for a while. So this is the um bone um eyeshadow palette. So this one is called Meat Match Shaker. So this is a bold and um it says romantic shades. So let me see if I can open it. So I did look at the swatch and I did swatch the tester that was in there and I did check to make sure this one had been tampered with. Comes in that little thing. And let me see if I could get it open. Y'all know how those magnet things do. Okay. So I'm gonna cover it has a mirror. I'm gonna cover the mirror. So those are the shades. I am a little upset that it's just kind of put in there, but it is in there, and I think it's magnetized up under it. So these are the shades, Pat, Le Le Pat Lamas, Kate, Sh whatever. So anyway, oh, I just stuck my finger in there. Well, these are the shades. I really bought it for this. This is green and black. You have matte above. You have shimmer below. These are pigmented as hell. I can barely touch it. And that's just barely touching it. So I got this. And I got this for, um, it was $32. So I got it for 25% off. She gave me 25% off of this. So I got this for like $13, $14. And then, oh, here it is. So the last thing I got was they had these masks and everybody knows if you go to the asian market you can get these masks because these this brand is called barrison there's an asian market here and i've used these before not this particular kind but this brand so it's in that language on the back and this is called barrison cocktail recipe so i got the mojito and i got the peach crush so i was getting my daughter two and give me two but she didn't want these she wanted the other one so i got these for a dollar fifty nine these are four dollars a piece in cold they're about three dollars for i think two or three in south asian market so then i just got this little necklace for eighty for me because my favorite color is purple and I, these are stretchy i do make my own bracelets but i just like these just when i need something to grab and go because they're smaller so that's it that's all this dvt 4040 i am under 20 minutes so now i will hang these things up i will make a quick video showing what the items look like hung and then i have to put them up and go put my dinner up you all have a great evening i'll talk to you soon be blessed check on the seniors and the children walk by somebody's car make sure they don't have those critters dogs and stuff in the car because it is still hot i know that summer's about to end but fall is here but if you live where I live, we haven't seen it yet. Okay? All right. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.